Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. I am doing an unbagging, which is a lot like an unboxing, but it's with a bag. Now, I went to ALA a few weeks ago and I did a video on that, so I'll leave the link below if you guys want to see my experience there. Um, but I got about 30 books at this convention, so I want to do this video in two parts, and today I'm going to show you about 10 books that I got that I can't wait to read. So let's get started. So the first book that I got was Alienated by Melissa Landers. And this one I remember I put on my Goodreads a really long time ago because I loved the synopsis and I loved the cover. If you haven't seen this one before, it's just gorgeous. This one is about a girl who is going to college and there's a boy who is an exchange student from space. He's an alien. And so she's kind of just like, I guess, dealing with that. It says she's sharing a bathroom with him, so I guess maybe the rooms are connected somehow or something. And then she finds out that there's more to him, more to the reason that he is an exchange student. And it says that she's falling for him and that um, there's potentially deadly consequences. And soon Kara will be in for the fight of her life, not just for herself and the boy she loves, but for the future of her planet. So that really sounded really intriguing to me, and I can't wait to pick this one up. It comes out, or I think it came out actually last week. Um, it says February 2014, so you guys should check this one out if you haven't already heard of it. This next book, when we saw it, it was the day before it came out, so I was so excited when I saw this. And it is Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi. Now, I still haven't read the first two books. What happened was I was getting into my reread of Under the Never Sky, and then the Eurothon happened where everyone's reading the Harry Potter books. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna join in and I'm gonna participate with people, and so I just haven't finished my reread of Under the Never Sky. I'm having trouble, I'm struggling with it. So hopefully I can get through it and start this one because I love this series. When I was in preschool, every day before I went to school, I sat and I watched Beauty and the Beast. It's just, it's amazing. So when I saw this book at ALA, I already knew that it was a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, and I snatched this bad boy up. It is Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge, and I just love this cover first of all because it's the spiraling staircase, but then on top of that you have this beautiful rose mixed into it. So it's got the tie-in to Beauty and the Beast on the cover. And it's got a girl in a pretty dress, and it's got a stairwell, and it's just gorgeous. Like, I could just stare at you all day long. That's how much I love it. And it also says on the front, her mission was to kill him. Her destiny was to love him. This one is about this girl who, um, she is raised knowing that one day her dad's going to, like, sell her or give her away to the, um, the, the kingdom leader. What would that be? A king, I guess? <laughs> the evil ruler, it says, of this kingdom and she's trained to kill him for 17 years and then I guess she goes there and falls in love with him or something, I don't know. I'm just taking a wild guess out of there um, based on what Beauty and the Beast is about. And I saw the uh, review that Cassidy did and I was like so sold because she just made it sound so good and even though she said the world building was a little confusing, I think going into this now knowing that it'll be a lot better. So I'll leave a link to her review down below if you guys want to check that out. This next one I saw on Tea Time a long time ago, and I really, really wanted to read it after that. It is called The Uninvited by Sophie Jordan, and this one has DNA strands coming out of her hair, and she almost looks like she's, like, levitating or something, but it looks really creepy. Um, it is about a girl who lives in this world where you can have a kill gene in your DNA, and if you have that gene, it means that one day you might be a murderer, so they, I guess, uninvite you from school, your friends abandon you, and it's just, like, you are something that nobody wants to touch. That sounds really weird. Nobody wants to be around you. Um, so then she finds this guy, Sean, who has the same gene in his DNA, but he also has an H tattoo, meaning that he's really violent. So she's like, I don't know if I should trust this guy. And it just says that it's a good um, book for fans of Michelle Hodkin, who wrote The Uncoming of N Nara Dyer. No. Michelle Hodkin, who wrote The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and that was one of my all-time favorite books. So I was like, if that's anything like this, same kind of tone or feel or, like, the mystery behind it, um, then I definitely want to read this one. Next, we have The Killing Woods by Lucy Christopher. This is the same author that wrote Stolen. I almost just poked my eye out. That was scary. I don't really know what this one's about because the back just has, like, the first page on there. So it's, it says something about this girl who sees her dad carrying this 
dead deer or something. And she's like, why is he carrying that dead deer? And upon further looking, she sees that it's actually a girl that's like unconscious or something and bloody, I guess. So she's like, why is he carrying this girl? And that was enough to intrigue me. And it looks like maybe, I don't want to, I thought at first maybe it was like a werewolf book because we got the moon in the corner, but it says dangerous games are played in the dark. So that makes me believe that maybe it's not, I don't really know, but it sounds good and it looks good. And this one comes out, or it came out in January, so this one's already out. So if you've actually read this, let me know if it's any good. Next, I've got Ruins by Dan Wells. This is the third book in the Partial series, I think. Yeah, book three. And I haven't read the first two books, but I really plan to, and I've seen them on Book Outlet for super cheap, so I will probably be picking them up soon. Give me another reason to go to bookoutlet.com. But this one comes out uh, March as well, so I better get on that. I just like the cover too because it's just like a storm is brewing so this means the third book the poop is gonna hit the fan <laughs> and stuff's going down <laughs> that was my edited version of that sentence while we were there I was talking to the one lady at Harper Collins booth and she was really nice and she was saying that this one book that I'm gonna show you was her favorite book out of all the ones that they were giving away and they were giving away some really good books so I was like it must be good and it is Salvage by Andrea Duncan. Yeah, Andrea Duncan. And this one is about a girl who lives in a spaceship, and then I guess she betrays them or something, so she's banished to this continent full of garbage. So I guess this is where we see her waking up on this beach here. And she, I guess, has to find her way back or something. It doesn't really say anything. So she's in the, in the Pacific Ocean. So I guess she lands on Earth, maybe, and it is for fans of Across the Universe and for fans of The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which I haven't read, but I have read Across the Universe and I loved it, so I am going to read this soon. It is coming out April of 2014, so that's pretty soon, and I should probably get on this so I can review it for you, but yeah, nice chunky book. Next we have Charm and Strange by Stephanie Kewen. I haven't heard much about this one, but it's about this boy who, I guess something happens with his family, there's a tragedy, and he gets exiled to a boarding school in New England. And then I guess he's kind of fighting between being this angry person, this angry loner, and trying to decide like who he wants to be maybe, I don't know. But it says, uh, while well, one night when he's stuck at a party in the woods, um, he battles both the pain of his past and the isolation of his present. And then it says, before the sun rises, he'll either surrender to his sanity inside his mind or make peace with the most elemental of truths that choosing to live can mean so much more than not dying. And I thought that was really cool. I like that, that last line. Choosing to live can mean so much more than not dying. I don't know. It just like made me think a little bit. So I'm excited to start this one. And it looks really short. So I might save this for the next readathon. Yeah. They had this truck and it was two for five dollars so I was like you know what? I'll just look around I wasn't planning to buy any books there that day but I saw these two books and I had planned on buying them but you know I was like it's just such a good price I should just buy them here so the first one is Paper Towns by John Green this one is I think I just need one more and then I have all of his books so I was really excited when I saw this there and my cousin really liked this one so I'm excited to try it then we have Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead and the movie actually comes out today while I'm filming this so I'm seeing it tomorrow and I can't wait. I read this book a long time ago and I binged the whole series. I just read them back to back because I just love them that much so I will be reading rereading this soon probably after I go see the movie and I'm really excited about it. When we went to that truck the guy was like oh since you bought something I'm gonna give you this free penguin tote so I have a penguin bag and I'm, I think it's cute. I like it a lot so um, yeah, so you only got that if you spent money, so that was a nice little surprise. This next book I had never heard of before, it is called Far From You by Tess Sharp, and it is about this girl who nearly died twice. It says, the first time she was 14, she escapes a near-fatal car accident with scars and a bum leg and an addiction to oxy that will take years to kick. The second time she's 17 and it's no accident. Her and her best friend were confined by masked men in the woods. She survives, but she is not so. But her friend is not so lucky. The cops deem her friend's murder a drug deal gone wrong, casting the partial blame on Sophie, who no one will believe the truth. 
um, that she's been clean for months, but it was the, the friend that led her into the woods that night for a meeting shrouded in mystery. It's like this whole thing of how she's coming to terms with her friend's death and trying to figure out what secret that her friend was keeping and what really happened that night. And it just sounds so dark and so mysterious because you've got this picture of like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're like almost like Christmas lights, but they're exploding at the bottom here. So I don't know, that just looks really good and says the truth won't let her go. So that kind of, it's cool, like the truth will set you free, but it won't because the truth won't let her go. It's not like, I don't know what that means. It just sounds really good. So this one comes out April of 2014. So I'll probably read this one soon so I can review it for you guys. But yeah, keep a lookout for that. It's called Far From You. Here are a few of the books that I got at ALA and I'll be sure to do a part two of this video so I can show you the rest of them. And yeah, let's do a little close up for you here. Let me know if you've actually read any of these, if you've liked them, or what you plan on reading. If maybe you're going to add some to your TBR after watching this video. Yeah. Alright guys, see you later. That reminds me of... <laughs> okay. Books that I got at ALA. I am joking. <sighs> and so the main character has it, and then I guess... I don't know why I have an accent all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't like the original cover even though she's kind of sneaking in the background I was like just get out of there you know you're kind of ruining the picture a little bit but um, I'm, I'm excited for this version Belle was my homegirl I wanted to be just like her don't even think about falling <laughs>